so we just arrived in Nakarin City. It's a beautiful day, and we're gonna just take a look around. Um, I did put our new buddy Taylor Swift in front, just because uh, we do need to get to use some levels eventually when we come across some, some trainers and stuff. So we got this is our Iron Fist Judgment Taylor, and that is uh, pretty damn awesome. So yeah, whenever we run into some trainers, we'll get that going. But first of all, let's go ahead and just kind of see what's going on in this city. What's up, guy? That warehouse, they're selling something good inside. So all these houses are like warehouses that are converted into into like houses. Even though it's just an old warehouse, it's become so popular. It makes me take a second look at what I think things are worth. It's cool. So let's go see what's kind of going on in these places. Sup, lady? Berg used this warehouse until two years ago. When Berg gets artist block, he comes back here to Nacreen City. Cool. The thing you have is a Pokedex, isn't it? Wow, cool. You collect Pokemon. Okay, I'll help you. Which Pokemon did you choose at the beginning of your journey? So I think this lady gives you an item corresponding to whatever you say. I'm gonna just go with Tepig, because that technically is the slot that we chose. You have Tepig, then I'll give you this. Let your Pokemon hold it, it can raise the power of fire type moves. So we do get a charcoal from this lady, so that's kind of cool. Um, you can choose whatever you want, I guess. Charcoal would come in handy for like, Golem or Grovile, I guess, because we have fire moves, but who knows. Berg is an artist and also the gym leader in Castelia City. We want to be like him. You know what, actually thinking about hold items, let's go ahead and do something real quick. So I did get this, uh, this power belt last episode. Uh, it is basically an EV training item that increases your defense EVs you gain, but while you're holding it, it actually lowers your speed stats. So, you know, I'm going to give this to nudes, mostly just because we're already slower than everything anyway, and that's going to kind of just promote our defense growth, and now we're just going to be even more defensive. So, uh, that should be pretty helpful. Anyway, let's see what's going on in this one. Hello? Hello? Started a shop in this warehouse. Welcome. How may I help you? Okay, so you sell just a whole bunch of X items freaking useless not really it would actually be kind of useful to get some of those x items but you know whatever we're not going to because fuck that trash can is empty where did where does everybody in this damn universe throw away their trash because every trash can is just empty as hell talking about wireless communications cool we'll go out your fancy side door and uh what are you doing backpacker lady that queen city is a highly fashionable and admirable locale contrary wise if you happen to be a bit ordinary here's here, that's cool in its own way. Okay, cool. So, you don't have a door, but you do. So, we'll go in here. See what's see what's popping. Lady with a cottony. Pokemon get you through. Pokemon you get through trades grow up fast. But be careful. If a traded Pokemon grows up too much, it won't listen to you. If you have a lot of badges, you'll be okay. I only have one, so... Yeah, oh, you're Talo. It's a little bit friendly to you. Something like that. Something like that, huh? Okay, well, I haven't actually used Talo in a battle yet, so... Good to know he actually likes me already. You have a Pokemon called Cottony. Would you like to trade your Cottony for my Petalil? I do not. If the randomizer graces me with a Cottony, I will, uh, I will see you. These old textile factories and storehouses were abandoned, but enterprising, enterprising young people started using them as studios. That could be called the beginning of Nacreen City, the city of art. Well, that's kind of cool. Okay. A lot of houses in this place. My name is Loblolly. Loblolly? I'm a designer of decor items, but I'm stuck now. I just can't come up with a good design. Been thinking about decor so great that it will appear in a dream. Hmm. Okay. Lady's talking about dreams. Interesting. It looks like we got just uh, one more house over this way. Sub guy. I'm a poet. I write poems. Every day I stretch my imagination and devote myself to create to my creative activity. People dream when sleeping, but if Pokemon dreams, I cannot imagine how it is. Seems like everybody's talking about dreams around here. What? what some foreshadowing, even the even the same kind of Pokemon can have different natures. Cool, and an empty trash can. This guy's up here just jamming. I play the guitar and have Pokemon battles every day. I keep doing that because I enjoy it. This hippie is just jamming out. I like your style, buddy. <laughs> okay, so over here, this is the gym of the city. We will uh, end up doing something with that later. I believe the leader has around level 20s. I, I could be wrong, but we do need to do some grinding before we take that on. Anyway, what is this? Cafe Warehouse. Try our delicious Wednesday specials. Okay, this guy's over here just jamming the accordion. How do you like the sound of accordions? Oh, uh, they're, you know, pretty cool, I guess. Anyway, we'll enter in here in the old cafe. Welcome to Cafe Warehouse, a stylish cafe in a rural area. Nice, got some blue-haired people just having a chat. When you battle with a friend using wireless communications, you can use items in a wonder launcher. I don't really remember what Wonder Launcher is, but that rings a bell. The Strayton City Gym Leaders are a great triplet combo. I'm aware, because I was literally just there, friend. And I won, too, because I'm a master. 
Do you know about the battle box? I heard it's a useful function you can use at the Pokemon Center. Cool. As far as I'm concerned, it doesn't matter that the cafe is in a rural area that nobody knows. Okay, literally nothing good happens in this town. So somebody give me something or something. I mean, we got a charcoal, but damn. Okay, we can go in this fence area. There's probably a hidden item over here. And this leads you to a pinwheel fall. We get a guard spec, okay. So this leads us to the pinwheel forest route. And, uh... Man, I have not been here in forever. Oh, you don't battle. What do you do? Yo, traveling trainer, are your Pokemon getting stronger? Here, this might come in handy. And we get TM94 for Karate Chop. So I think the gym leader in this town is regularly supposed to be the normal type guy. But, uh... You know, considering it's randomized, we, we're not gonna have to deal with that. But they give you, they just give you karate chops, so that's useful. If you go straight, it doesn't take long, but if you go the wrong way, it's a maze. Is Pinwheel Forest a path or a maze for you? Interesting. Ooh, okay, so we, and then we have this lady, and she is, she's like a nurse, so she does battle us, but it's nice because she'll actually heal up our Pokemon, so let's get a little battle going. All right, Elite Trainer Lawrence over here has a Gotharita. One of the weirder Pokemon. Honestly, the whole Gothi, uh, Gothitelle line kind of just creeps me out for some reason. It's like, I don't know. Okay, well, level 15, you know, Swift, you're probably not going to be able to do too much to this thing. Let's go for a Judgment, though, and just kind of see how much it's going to do. We get a Stab Judgment, and it's actually kind of nice having Judgment, because if we come across the plate, we can actually turn this into a different move. We do get a critical hit, and doesn't even do half, and oh, shit, okay, Payback. Oh my god, we live it with 5 HP. Alright, Taylor, I'm not gonna let you die. Not letting you die, buddy. Let's go into... Big Mama does have... A dark move, so we'll be okay here. That payback was scary, man. I had... Whew, having scary thoughts. I mean, the last Taylor I had, I killed it, so I, I can't... it's my duty to keep this one alive. Alright, Big Mama. Let's night daze this hoe. Yeah, that should finish this thing off. Our weird looking Dark Pulse is gonna knock you out. Okay, so we're probably gonna have to switch train Taylo for a little while because thing is frail as hell and it's only, okay, well you do get a little 12 off that. We're making progress. Yeah, look, you had a high ass level Pokemon. Tough trainer, I will make your Pokemon healthy. So that's kind of cool. Um, usually these are placed in routes where there's a lot of Pokemon, or trainers and stuff to battle. So um, we'll, we'll end up coming back to her, I'm sure. And over this way we do have, I think there's an item here, yep. The Razor Claw. Hey, that's pretty damn nice. We're gonna definitely use that. Let's, uh... So, Razor Claw increases the chance of critical hits. We are for sure gonna give that to somebody. Uh, let's give it to... Let's actually just give it to Swift. There you go, buddy. And what is, uh... Hold on, what hold items is... What, what is Big Mama holding? Got a, oh, you got the King's Rock. So, yeah, we get them, get them flinches with that. So we gotta get an we gotta get an item for these other boys, but other than that, we're looking pretty solid in in terms of hold items already. So that's cool. Anyway, let's continue south, and this is a new route, and we can catch the first thing we come across, and it's the first freaking grass, and it's a cacturn. Okay, so level 15 cacturn. That is actually pretty damn nice. Okay, so I don't want Taylo to end up dying here. So. You know, let's go into nudes, give this thing a couple of Aurora Beams, but shit, I, I love me some Cacturn, so that's awesome. Thorny Tits is about to live again. It's even a female? Hot damn. Autotomize, so that raises your speed, right? Yep. Yeah. Rose sharply, and it became nimble. Okay, well, we'll give you a, uh... A little Aurora Beam, don't want to do too much. Thing has Flare Blitz, hot damn Flare Blitz, Cacturn, I need to catch you. So, gets hurt by the recoil. That's kind of scary. I don't want to weaken this thing too much because it's going to freaking kill itself. Okay, Aurora Beam does fucking nothing. Let's Sky Uppercut you. And it has Morning Sun. So, shit, this thing might not be too bad. I, I, uh... I could see myself putting this baby to use. Although, that Morning Sun's going to make it annoying as hell to wield down. Nudes can't do shit in terms of damage. But at least... Okay, you're going to sleep talk. Not even asleep, friend. That's okay. All right. Um, Blizzard's gonna do a lot. Perfect. Okay. You know what? Let's just throw a ball at this thing. I'm feeling. I'm feeling pretty damn confident. We do have just nine great balls. We're gonna go for some great balls here. Please join the team, Cacturn. We are gonna get rid of that far fetch just because kind of terrible stats, and we have a better flying type. So, and it looks like, fuck. I I jinxed it. 
I straight up jinxed it now at morning suns. God, do I... Why you gotta do this to me, Cacturn? I know you want to be friends. Okay, well, I guess I gotta land another blizzard here. Thank you for sleep talking. Please don't morning sun anymore. I think morning sun only has five power points, so we should be all right, but... Let me have you, damn it. Okay, then let's just go for another sky uppercut. Okay, good. It just sleep talks. We can punch you with our noodle ass arms. And uh, I'm feeling confident about this next one. Okay. So not quite in red, but that should be good. Come on, great ball. Don't fail me now. Fuck, it didn't even wiggle. I hate my life. Okay, well, it's gonna sleep talk. Uh, I'm just <laughs> I'm just gonna throw another one at it. This has got to work eventually. I'm afraid that if I just attack it, it's gonna freaking... <sighs> it's just gonna morning sun again. Okay, we got some wiggles. We got we got a wiggle. Fuck, well, how difficult is your catch rate? Okay, you're just gonna sleep talk again. Oh, well, you know what? Maybe you're not gonna... Maybe you're not gonna morning sun. Yep, no. Okay, well, of course you do. So that is frustrating as fuck. I just want to catch you. I, I literally, I just want to catch you. Flare Blitz gonna hurt yourself, and then this next Aurora Beam's gonna do a little bit, so... Should be okay here. It's gonna actually not even put it in red, though. Dang it. Oh, no, it is. False Alarm. All right, it's in perfect catching range. You're fucking mine, Cacturn. You're mine. You're just like your father, Cacturn. You're no good. Okay, I'm feeling it right here. Right here. Yes! So we were able to catch it. We got ourselves a Cacturn. Hell yeah. Becomes active at night, seeking prey that is exhausted from the day's desert heat. Cool. So we'll give you a nickname since you're a female Cacturn and just paying homage to my older Let's Plays. We're naming you Thorny Tits. and it just fits perfectly. Phony titties. Alright, the boy is resurrected. Look at that. We got Taylor Swift back. We also got Thony tits back from like like an emerald randomizer or something. But hey, that's cool. Not a bad first encounter for this route. So, awesome. Um, let's go ahead and just use you again because you have, for some reason, unlimited potions. And I'm going to take advantage of that. So, thank you for that. Talking about the pinwheel forest. And we do got some little preschoolers over here in their hard hats. <laughs> They're just building the train track. Hi, trainer. Please show me what kinds of Pokemon you are training. Oh, I will. Don't you worry about that. I love how the preschoolers, they're called technicians, and they have hard hats. It's actually kind of funny. All right, we have a Cherim. So maybe Taylor will be able to do something against this. It's only level 13, so I'm not too afraid of your... Uh, not too afraid of your Cherim. It's the boy Cheerio. Girl Cheerio, I guess. But okay, let's, uh, let's just judgment. That's our strongest bet here. We want to be an Arceus so damn bad. Okay, it doesn't do too much, and it's gonna mirror move. Oh, shit. Okay. This Cherim's using Judgment, too. Oh, Lord. Oh, my God. Oh, shit. Okay, this Talo is fucking dodging death right now. This is scary as fuck. We're gonna go, we're gonna go into Big Mama. That mirror move, man. Okay. We, we didn't die, though. We're good. We're still okay. All right, Big Mama. You got this. It's gonna mirror move again, but it fails since we didn't use anything. Okay, so let's just give you... Let's just give you a poison jab right to your damn eggplant-looking head. And that kills you. So at least Talo is going to get a bunch of experience from this. So we should be okay. We do get a level 17 with Big Mama. And Swift goes to 13, wants to learn Wing Attack. Hey, I feel like sometimes the randomizer just, like, doesn't work or something. But we get Wing Attack, so that's good. Let's get rid of, uh... Acupressure applies uh, start by boosting one of its stats. That's kind of a we're gonna we're gonna get rid of wrap I forget that acupressure is even a damn thing now probably not gonna really use it too much But we get wing attacks so and now we have dual stab check us out next is p -Dove. Let's just go into swift here just briefly so that way we can End up just switch training and get a little bit of experience And uh, all right p -Dove. so we're the same level, but I don't want to fuck around with you So let's just go into Let's go into Donut, we can give this thing a spark. As long as you just don't have a water or grass move, p -Dove, we are gonna be good fun, good friends. Gonna stockpile, okay. 
so that, that that's fine. Come at you with our, our glazed ass donut and spark you right in the beak. So it doesn't quite kill it because of that damn stockpile. I was gonna go for another one, that is fine. Stockpiled two, and one more spark is gonna do it. So thank you, preschooler, for not having anything too scary. Down goes the beat of, and we are just out here grinding. Great, great. I didn't know that way to raise Pokemon. What? What? What do you mean you didn't know that way? Just you train them? Okay. Well, we'll go ahead and heal again, so that way maybe we can end up using Taylor Swift. Thank you for the heals. Honestly, it's, it's risky biscuits using Taylor though until it, at least it comes to Swallow because the thing is frail as hell. What's going on? Hi, hi, trainer. I will let you see what kind of Pokemon I have. How kind of you. Let's see it then, pal. Alright, so Rachel here has one Pokemon. It turns out to be a Virizion. Okay. Holy shit. Little Pru gave a preschooler a freaking legendary. Things level 14. Taylor, can you can you do this? Okay, wing attack's gonna do a lot. As long as you don't have anything super effective, I think we can live in attack. Maybe? No, probably not. Pro pro honestly, if we be in real, pro probably not. So let's just go into. Uh, I don't want to risk it having a grass move either. Let's just go into Big Mama. We'll give you a poison jab. I, I I'm really interested to see. So if I stayed and went for that wing attack, I feel like it was gonna do a lot, but. Chances are, seeing how much damage I took from everything else, we're gonna get fucked. Okay, this one for Twister. I could have taken a Twister. That would have been fine. But that's okay. We're out here playing it safe. I don't want to end up losing shit, man. It is my main goal to lose as many Pokemon as, as, as little Pokemon. Not as many. I just jinxed myself. Watch. Now that I said that, I'm probably gonna lose everything. Lose as little Pokemon as possible. Okay. One more Poison Jab is gonna take care of it, and we are gonna get a bunch of experience from that, which is fantastic. Little baby Virizion caught these hands. And Swift does grow to level 14 and 15 as well. Look at us go. Freaking leveling up. Awesome. Okay, so over here we have a Pokeball. And to the right there, there's just the other end of the city. Uh, there's a sea and sense. So not too useful there. But uh, we do have some more grass. And we got ourselves a little youngster here. What's happening, guy? Okay, I'm brave and I'm bold. Let's get right to the battle. All right, let's do it, buddy. No fucking around, but getting right into it. Alright, Rocker Ann here has uh, a Kabuto. Alright, what's up, little floating friend? So, Taylor, you don't really have anything to do to this thing, so let's switch. Let's go into. Uh, what can what can Donut do here? I guess we'll go into Donut and Spark it. Wait, what? Swift cannot be switched out! Fuck, this thing has. Like Arena Trap or Shadow Tag or something. Uh oh, that is not good, guys. It ha <laughs> we have to stay in with Taylor and at least for two levels higher, though. So let's just go for a judgment, see how much this does. Uh, I'm guessing it'll probably actually do a lot. Or maybe about half. Okay, close. And this thing's gonna just imprison. Imprison is an interesting move because it basically makes it so the opponent can't use any moves that you share with the user So like if this thing had judgment, I wouldn't be able to use judgment, but what a useless fucking move. I mean, come on now <laughs> Unless you had a Pokemon with just like all super common moves. I guess that'd be kind of nice, but oh shit now it has cross chop Oh my god, that did a lot. Okay, but that's all right because one more judgment. Oh, oh shit magic coat That's fine that scared me for a second. I thought it just went for like priority or something. So, all right, judgment is gonna take care of it, and we dodged a bullet there with this freaking Kabuto. Okay. Next is a Toxic Croak. So let's just uh, for Toxic Croak, we're level 15. Let's let's stay in here and we'll potion up as long as you don't have anything too scary. A wing attack should just do a bunch of damage to this thing. So. Um, let's just go for a regular potion, should be okay. Get our buddy back to full, hopefully this thing just goes for something random. I mean, it's it's gonna go for something random, but please just don't be an attacking move. And, oh fuck, it ha- Fuck! No! It has Ice Fang! I am an idiot! Every Talo I touch dies. Every damn one of them. Talo Swift just is not meant to be. Fuck! What are the odds this thing was gonna have Ice Punch, man? 
I really just saw the opportunity to wing attack it. I was like, you know, the wing attack would be fun, and I'll be fine as long as it just doesn't have fucking Ice Fang. Of course it does. Although, to be fair, I don't think I would have been, take, been able to take much, man. That... Fuck, I'm an idiot. That was just a... That was just a bad... A bad sequence on my end. I really should have just... I should have just switched. That was just stupid. And I shouldn't have gone into Big Mama either. Because I forgot that every move I have is not good against this thing. We have a stab cut, though. So, as long as you don't have a freaking fighting move, we'll be... It has Rock Smash, too. Jesus. Critical hit, though. Okay, you know what? We're getting out of here. Uh, so, it does have Ice Fang. It looks like... We're letting nudes do it. Man, this Toxic Crook. I'm still... <laughs> I'm gonna beat myself up about that forever. I don't know why I stayed in with Taylor. It's a fucking a fully evolved Toxicroak, so it would've... It was gonna hurt, either way. I just thought that... I, I just wanted to wing attack it, okay? You guys are gonna make fun of me, and I know it. Every Taylor I touch dies. This thing has Water Spout too. This is the most OP Toxicroak in all of the freaking land. And we missed the Blizzard. Come on, nudes. You can do it, buddy. Alright, but at least we're defensive as shit, so we can take that. And we do connect on this blizzard, so now your next water spouts aren't gonna hurt too much, so... Fuck, though, I cannot do any damage. I'm just gonna use a regular potion here, get back to pretty much full, and now it has Bone Meringue. Okay, well, I've seen your entire moveset, so no more surprises, mister. Alright, let's just blizzard again. It's still gonna take us, like, two, but come on, Toxicroak, just freaking die already, damn it. Oh my god, we avoid it. He avoids it. Fucking rock smash. Don't smash me, brah. And we connect on that one at least, so. Alright, one more attack. And Aurora Beam should be able to finish it off. It doesn't have anything that can kill me. With Water Spout at like 5 HP, you're not gonna be able to do too much with that, so we're okay. Alright. The fucking Toxicroak has died. And that is payback, you bitch, for killing my Talo. Really just a poor decision on my end, leaving that thing in. But alright, next is Spinarak. Let's go into Young Forest Gump. And uh, we'll give you a Blaze Kick. Download Spinarak, huh? Interesting. Well, we'll Blaze Kick you. Step on your spider like I usually do when I find him in my bathroom at 2 a.m. And you are dead as hell. Okay. So, fuck this guy. You killed my Talo. And honestly, I'm, pr I'm pretty upset right now. I am quite upset. We gotta go back to the city, we need to go to the Poké Center, and we need to have a proper burial for our buddy Taylo. Literally, a t every time I get a Taylo, it never lasts long. Never. Fuck. Okay, well, we'll hit up the PC. We do have to make a grave box. We have not done that yet, because nothing has died yet. But of course, that had to happen. But at least we can grab our new, our new Cacturn. So, okay. This wallpaper is actually already perfect. We're just gonna name you... Grave. And this is where we bury our dead-ass Pokemon. So, sorry to do it to you, Taylo. Um, I do have to take your Razor Claw from you, so let me just loot your dead body real quick, and we will stick you in the grave. So our first dead Pokemon has happened, and in both Let's Plays I've done back-to-back, -back, it's been Taylo. But all right, so we'll, we'll grab this Cacturn. Um, let's, uh, I guess we'll leave Farfetch for now, but we do have a new buddy Cacturn, so. <clears throat> That's kind of cool. We might as well end up training this thing up a little bit. Why not, right? It's already level 15, so... <clears> hope <throat> oh, he's already pretty solid. So we'll get a nice little heal up going. And then I think there is still some more trainers to battle on that route. So let's head back up. And let's let's aim for just no more deaths this episode, huh? How, how does everybody feel about that? I'm gonna... I'm gonna play... I'm gonna play it safe. Don't worry. Okay, so continuing south, we do... Uh, there's an item over there that I want. This asshole. Fuck you, guy. There's another item here. Found a star piece, so we can sell that for a whole bunch of money, which is cool. And then uh, we got another orange hat friend. Fuck your buddy over there, man. He killed my Talo. I hate you guys. Okay, hopefully you don't do the same. All right. Rocker Pansy. Why is everybody named Pansy these days? We have a Huntail. Okay, so that's kind of interesting. We are... We have Gump in front. Um... Let's just go for a Psy Strike. We haven't actually used this. We've gotten pretty lucky with, like, legendary exclusive moves, man. Psy Strike is gonna do probably a lot yet. 
nice and over half as he hit me with a brick break. You don't have any hands. How the hell did you do that? You just straight karate chop me with your face or what? Well, one more side strike. He is gonna take care of you. Next is Excelgore. Okay, this guy's got the most random Pokemon in the damn game. Freaking Excelgore, huh? Okay, let's uh for that, let's do Let's do Donut. Huntail and Excelgore. Talk about two Pokemon that people like literally don't even know exist. But uh I I admire your use of random ass Pokemon. Okay, Excelgore, we will give you a heat wave, please do okay, karate chop, that's that still should be okay. Okay, literally, you have Brick Break and Karate Chop. This man just really likes chopping things. So, Heat Wave is not quite gonna knock this thing out, but we get the late game burn, and that's actually gonna knock it out. So, thank you for that, Donut. You get burnt by my hot Donut. And we grow to level 18 off that. Perfect. I do want to get everybody to around 19. Ooh, we're learning Shadow Sneak. Look at that. So, you know, I am probably gonna teach Shadow Sneak. It's nice to have priority. Um, and thinking about it, Stockpile is probably... I'm gonna get rid of Stockpile. The reason for that is because we're already really defensive. And odds are, in re I mean, if this was a regular playthrough, I probably would keep Stockpile. Just because there's pretty much certainty in certain Pokemon when we see, we'd, we'd know if they're gonna have like a water or a grass move. But in this, it's like I would waste time stockpiling, and then they'd bust out Hydro Pump and I'd probably die anyway. So, you know, we're getting Shadow Snake instead, so... Cool. Anyway, uh, we got some nice reflective ass water here, and there's some some dark grass. We do find a metal coat over there. I don't know if there's anything else over here this way. Doesn't look like it, but there's a hop hip, so that's kind of cool. Anyway, uh, holy shit, a Dragonite and a Vanillite. Both the ites come at me right now. Holy shit. You know what? I'm gonna actually fight these things because I could use the experience, and we actually have. Decent matchups against both of them. We're gonna have Nudes go for the Blizzard on both of them. And Blaze Kick should do a bunch of this vanilla. What what a random little pairing we found there. Freaking Dragonite? Why could you have not been my first encounter? Shit. Okay, so Gump is gonna grow to 19 off that. Perfect. And what that what that thing just use? I didn't even see. We do connect on the Blizzard. Yeah, it's gonna do a lot to our derpy dragon friend. Does over half, perfect. And uh, we'll just Psy Strike, and then we'll go for Aurora Beam, and that should solidify the KO. Psy Strike might actually do it. We're level 19 with Gump. Putting it work. Oh, okay, doesn't quite kill it. Goes for Horn Leech. Uh oh. That's fine. He's gonna heal up a little bit, but it takes like 1 HP from me, and Aurora Beam kills it. And that right there is some solid ass experience, so we will take it. Okay, cool. Um, let's switch up the lead here. Should probably go with... Uh, we'll put Big Mom in front, who's only level 17. We'll, we'll end up trying out Thorny Tits relatively soon. Not now, but... Uh, oh, Electric. Get out of my way. Okay, so what else is going on over here? We've got uh, some Karate Dude. There is just so many trainers over here, and we haven't even actually gone into the, the, the real forest. It's kind of weird because this route is considered the Pinwheel Forest, but it's not really in the forest. I don't know. I mean, weird. Anyway, Leader Donner here has a Chikorita. We will go ahead and Poison Jab your Thickorita. She's thicker than a bowl of oatmeal. Nice little two-hit KO. Oh, shit, it actually has Petal Dance. So, a strong stab move, but that's fine because you're weak as hell. And one more Poison Jab is going to do the trick. We grow to level 18 in the process. And Leader Donner has been defeated. And uh, so we can grab this item from down here. Sweet. Turns out to be a Soul Dew. So if we ever come across a Latias or a Latios, that's kind of cool. But uh, it looks like we just got another trainer here. Freaking Psyduck in the way. Get out my face. Sup. I test the challenge rock with my fist every day. That does not sound healthy for your fist. Okay, you have a Dugong here. Level 16, let's uh, just go ahead and Seed Flare you. Look at us, taking advantage of our Seed Flare. It's gonna detect though, you asshole. Why would you do that? Just gonna go ahead and toss some, some more seeds at you. It tries to go for the double detect and it gets it. What? Well, you're annoying, why would you do that? You're, oh, and now, now we have, it avoids the Seed Flare, damn it. Hits me with a Power Whip. Okay, we can take at least another one of those. So, Seed Flare, come on, connect, thank you. Summon the power of Shaman. And that actually knocks it out in one hit, tell ya. 
And that looks like that is the last of Lady Antoinette. Why does that sound familiar? Lady Antoinette, is that a, like a name of somebody famous? Why do I, that rings a bell. Whatever, okay, so that's all there is to do on this route. We did lose a Talo, and, uh, but we're still coming out on top. We can snubble, get out of my face. All right, so our team is pretty much looking like we're in fighting shape to go take on the gym, so um, let's let's heal up with this lady. Make your Pokemon healthy, thank you. We're not even gonna use the Poke Center because this lady's right here, so let's go ahead and run back. And yeah, so with the levels we're at, we're at 18, Gump's at 19. I think we should be okay. By the time we get to the gym leader, we're probably gonna be all around 19 and stuff. So I think if I remember correctly, we should be okay. So let's go ahead and just take a step inside. Oh shit, Anne is in here. What's happening, boy? I want to see things no one can see. The ideals of Pokemon inside Pokeballs, the truths of how trainers should be. In a future where Pokemon have become perfect, do you feel the same? I'm gonna say no. Hmm, I expect more from you. Now pay attention, my friends and I will test you to see if you can see this future too. Does he call his, he calls his Pokemon his friends? That's kind of cute. All right, well, so I was not expecting to have an end battle here, but all right, Poet N has three Pokemon. He has a Yam Mask, so that's pretty damn creepy. The creepiest Pokemon ever just carries around a face. Like what? What are you doing? Only level 13. It has Download. Okay, so we'll just give you a Night Days, and uh, should probably just do the trick. I don't know why you're so low leveled though, and you're supposed to be better than this. Train your friends up. So we're almost level 19 on Big Mama here, that'll probably grow us, oh, almost. Next is a Gigalith. So we'll just stay in here, we have Seed Flare, so, oh wait, no, yeah, we healed up, we good, we good. So young Gigalith coming out here, big ass unit. Look at the size of this lad. And Seed Flare should probably, probably do it, you have a random ability, so no sturdy for you, sir. Oh, okay, it actually lives it, because you're defensive as hell, but we get the special defense drop, which does not matter. And it's gonna overheat, but we avoid it. Hell yeah. Big Mom is not fucking around. One more flare is gonna kill you. And alright, so we do grow to level 19 there, and one more Pokemon to go. Wants to learn Switcheroo. Uh, that's gonna be a no for me, dog. Give up on that, and alright. Damn, we get a shit ton of experience. Next, his last Pokemon turns out to be a Magikarp. Can you believe it? That's actually. That is hilarious. Let's just get, let's go into nudes for that. Of course, N has a magic carp. As his ace Pokemon, he saves it for the end, and it's it's just a carp. So all right here, it does have Cloud Nine, but uh, we're gonna go ahead and Power Whip you, Dragon Pulsing Magikarp, the fucking beast. It's gonna do like one HP damage, okay, or three, but we do connect on a Power Whip, and uh, we're not quite able to kill it because nudes is you know. He does his best, though. She does her best. <laughs> One more Dragon Pulse. As long as we connect on this Power Whip, we will be A-OK. -okay. And we do. So that is going to be a dead-ass Carp. And uh, N has been defeated. I cannot see the future yet. The world is still to be determined. That it is. Okay, so... My friends aren't strong enough to save all Pokemon. Maybe I can't solve the equation that will change the world. So I need power. Power enough to make anyone agree with me. Okay, man. You're a little crazy, but... He needs Zekron, a legendary Pokemon that, along with the hero, created the Unova region. It's my turn to become that hero, and you and I will be friends. He's off to go capture Zekron with his Magikarp. Okay, well, we're going to end the episode here, guys. Thank you for watching. Next time, we're going to take on the uh, the gym, and that should be some fun stuff. So, hit that like button on this video if you enjoyed, and I will see you later. Peace out.